to the channel. Today, we are diving deep into how you can unlock the full potential of your Stream Deck by using profiles, pages, and folders. These features help you to make the most out of your workflows and help you to use the keys on your device as efficiently as possible. Whether you're a streamer, a content creator, or even someone who wants to optimize their daily tasks and workflows, there's something here for everyone. All right, so let's jump right into it. If you're new to Stream Deck, you might think that you're limited to just the number of physical buttons on your device that you purchase. But that's where profiles, pages, and folders come in. These allow you to create a nearly endless number of actions and setups. And in this video, I will show you what profiles, pages, and folders are for and how you can use them. Also, in the end, I will share a little secret trick that probably not many people know about that makes navigating folders and nested folders a lot easier. Before we jump into the details of each element, we should have a look on the hierarchy between the three. Profiles are the highest level, pages live within profiles, and folders are on pages. With this, we can now move on to the first thing, and that is profiles. Profiles are perfect for those of you who use Stream Deck across multiple applications. Profiles allow you to set up a unique button configuration for each applica application you want to use it in. You can choose to change to that profile as soon as that specific application comes into focus, or you can switch to that profile manually. For example, I have different profiles set up for OBS, VS Code, 3D printing, and even general web browsing. And the magic is that Stream Deck can automatically switch to those profiles when I open the application. So when I open OBS, my Stream Deck automatically switches to my streaming setup. And when I switch to VS Code, it instantly changes to my coding shortcuts and commands. If you want to know how to set up these smart profiles that activate as soon as the application you've designed them for come into focus, I've created a video and I'm linking it up here so you can check it out yourself. Next up, let's talk about pages. Pages are great if you want to access a completely different set of actions without changing the overall structure of your layout within a profile. Think of pages as different layers on your Stream Deck. You can move between them, which gives you even more control without having to assign all your actions to one cramped layout. You can add up to 10 pages per profile. For example, my first page is set up for video conferencing, while my second page is dedicated to PowerPoint actions and presenting. Switching between them is only pressing this button and now I've got an entirely new set of controls. You can also assign actions to your pages and these will reflect on your page actions, making navigation way more intuitive. Finally, let's have a look at folders. Folders allow you to group similar actions together on a single key, which means that a single button can lead up to multiple other actions. It's perfect if you have several related functions, but don't want to clutter up your main layout. To create a folder, all you have to do is right click on a new key. It doesn't really matter if this is already occupied or not and select create folder if the key was empty or move to folder if the key was occupied. Now a new folder is automatically created and you can name it and add actions inside of it. Inside a folder, we do not have pages anymore or profiles, but we can create further folders without limits and creating a uh, fancy nested structure. For example, I've created a folder here for my Windows tools and inside I've added useful Windows shortcuts, like opening the emoji keyboard, the command line or Windows settings, all accessible with just two button presses. I did the same with my most needed browser bookmarks. To make things even more efficient, you can enable folder auto exit. To leave the folder once you press the key you need it, and then you will leave the folder you're currently in. To configure the folder auto exit, enter the folder and click on the folder exit button, by default in the upper left corner. Now enable the auto exit option and select the time it should take to leave the folder. This setting is now applied to all action in this folder. If you want to exclude or adjust individual actions, there is now an extended option in each action that lets you configure it for this action individually, or you can just leave the standard default thing that you set for the entire folder. So when you combine folders, pages, and profiles, you've got a setup that allows you to manage hundreds or even thousands of actions without feeling overwhelmed, and you will always get the actions that you require for the applications that you're currently running. For instance, let's say I'm presenting in a Teams video call. 
I've got a profile for Teams where I have all the actions I need to interact with my audience. In addition, I set up a PowerPoint profile so that I can remote control my presentation. And if I need to launch or start something on the site outside the video call in parallel, I can, example, for example, launch my Notes app via a Stream Deck. And now for the promised secret and hack. Once you start setting up your pages and folders, you will get to the point where you start stacking folders in folders. And the auto exit or the return key will only bring you always back up one single level. Sometimes you want to get from a very low or nested folder back to your pretty much highest page, back to the page. And you can do that by keeping the return button pressed for one or two seconds and then releasing it. And on release, you will get back to the page, so to the highest level. And this is pretty much a secret hack not many people know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or ideas, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and like, so you will not miss any f future Stream Deck tips and features. With this, happy configuration of your Stream Deck and see you in the next one.